Well, good morning. This is uh, uh, one of the farms that I, I deal with a lot. Um, this is where I buy grain, it's this farm. He's my co-pilot, she is. Anyway, here he comes, so I gotta get going. So I was telling you, I went got grain. This is our grain bin, one of them. And I got it, and uh, I don't know if you can see old Jack down there. He's down there spreading manure, the big dust cloud, because it's a lot of grain in that my chicken coop. But that's a. Uh, um, a mini manure spreader but it does well for this farm because uh, we back it in he'll be backed in right here and then I can pitch that manure out in that pen and then what we'll do is uh, use that snowblower I was telling you about we clean those pens out and just push it down through here and uh, Most of, a lot of times I'll just have the big manure spreader outside and then I'll just use the bucket tractor. But right now we're just using the little spreader because the other tractor that I use has a brush hog on it and then I want to unhook it. I'm being lazy. And um, we'll clean these guys out today, these pens. I put all the boy goats in today here in this pen all the bucks are in here now and uh, this guy that guy he's, he's gonna do a he's gonna do us the favor of having Well, he'll do his thing with these goats. In here. Right, Rave? Yeah. And there's two, two were big on that one right there. And that one over there. He'll breed. These guys are too small yet. They're just not, they're just not ready. So, anyway, we bought uh, two more bucks. Um, out of the Buffalo area and they're gonna come here for about a month. I'll get them a little bit fatter and then they go down the road to an apple fest that happens here. That's where they're going. But it's how farms work. All right, see ya. Who's old Jackson? He's gonna back it in here, right here, you see. And that'll be the first pen. That's a Mill, a Mill Creek spreader. And um, that's a John Deere 750. I bought that three years ago. Um, it really does a good job around here. It does a lot of raking hay with it and it doesn't use much fuel. It's a diesel, three cylinder. Uh,
this uh this spreader we loaded just now you see it holds a lot it's a little what the heck is this a mill, mill creek right yeah mill creek spreader yep mill creek yeah okay everybody knows mill creek. Right? and um it's a 27 plus it says but it actually holds a lot of more that's that's two pens in there from these these two pens And they're all done already, as you can see. You load the spreader by hand, you can get a lot more in. Yeah. If, if you fill it by hand. We, so with a wheelbarrow, you can only get two, two and a half to three. But we were, we're building this ramp, we'll show you here, because we might go this way in the end, or at least with this, this pen here and uh, this one in the corner. Um, we have this ramp, but it's not finished. I mean, it, it, it works for the wheelbarrow, but we're gonna use these tin and, and make this a little wider so you can run the snow blower right up in it. And as you can see, it goes up in the air. You back the spreader in right here and you can just push it right in. But we have to do a few modifications, like there's gotta be a, a ramp here and we can flip it over so that it can go into the spreader. Otherwise, cause the spreader can't only get so close to about to here. And then you're you're just spilling it so it has to get uh, a little bit more modification before the snow blower can actually push the manure up the ramp but we use that wheelbarrow now and it does a good job you know when we're when we do it that way but it's pretty cool you know and that tractor there does a lot of the manure spreading a lot of it oh yeah right jack i mean Abs you know absolutely yeah. it does a lot of it does spread. a lot of work Oh yeah. I mean, ever since you got it, I I've put it right to work. Yeah, I mean it's been out there doing manure. It does it does uh, a, a lot of breaking hay, tedding, you know, around here. You think it's small, but it's Grand it's actually and everything else. Yeah, and, it pulls a lot. It does a lot. Oh, yeah. I mean, for a small tractor, that thing does, a, you know, actually a ton of work. <laughs> so we're pretty happy with it on this little farm and. Um, Okay, we're gonna continue on on our mission. See ya. Plowed up uh, about an acre in our garden next year. It's really, it hasn't been plowed in, I don't know, probably 30 years. It was hard plowing, but I did it. I was, uh, like I said, it's a massy 40 horsepower and two bottom plows. And uh, did a good job. Did a good job. So um, it's time for chores. I got to unhook this plow. I think I'm going to take it down to the store to store it now. So I'll leave it hooked up, but, um, well, maybe I shouldn't, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day, I'm going to do some chores, and I'll talk to you later.